guys, welcome back to Tom Mods Things again. Uh, today we've got some really, really exciting news. I'm literally just about to head out uh, because we are going to pick up something very special. Uh, we have gone and purchased a new project car for the channel, so uh, it's going to be equally, if not more, mad than the uh, the uh, Paul Garney outside. Uh, so as you can see at the moment, garage is currently clear of uh, said car. So. Uh, that is now destined for the driveway uh, for a bit and then once this project turns up uh, we will have it in the garage and there's going to be a hell of a lot of work to do. It's effectively a massive Lego set at the moment so um, it's going to be a, a long slog but I'm hoping we can put it together again and we're going to take you guys along for the ride as well so this is going to be uh, the start of a community based uh, YouTube series. And so mods and stuff that you want to see on uh, on cars and we're going to bring you along for the ride uh, but I won't give away too much and we'll wait until it turns up uh, because then that will kind of suddenly bring everything into the bigger picture for everybody uh, everybody on the channel so uh, yeah just going to crack on now and I'll catch you uh, when we arrive <laughs> back of base. Porsche now destined to the driveway because this thing's going in the garage. Nice big space for it. Can't wait, it actually looks so much better with a bit of rain on it as well. Right, so there we go guys. Uh, sorry I didn't do uh, tons of filming when I was there. I got a little bit sidetracked really just with um, you know how things go with new cars and stuff. Uh, sidetracked with chatting to the guy about what was going on with it and, uh, and just time flew by really with doing some filming so I did a little bit but not as much as I'd have liked but anyway we're uh, back in the shed uh, it is here so uh, what we're going to do I'll do a quick flip round just to kind of give an overview of kind of uh, what the overall aesthetics look like from the outside but really next video is going to be diving into all of the stuff that's inside and we're just going to sift through all of it and just kind of see what we have got and what we don't have because uh, we're looking at it it's probably going to be a fair amount that's missing so um, anyway yeah so I'll just flip the camera around and we'll just have a quick look at uh, what it is exactly what it exactly is and as people will follow my instagram I've got the old uh, first mod i mean problem maybe is that there are no seatbelt covers at the moment but there we go these are going to be the bad boys that sit in there on the uh, on the harnesses can't wait got loads of stuff like this in the collection like lights and stuff that we have for various cars and stuff so we can make things work but yeah awesome so some of you would have guessed uh, it is a uh, 106 um, was originally looking for a Saxo but effectively they're the same car pretty much so um, and really with when this came up couldn't couldn't resist it to be honest with uh, the body kit and how crazy it looks uh, floors are wet and stuff at the moment because obviously it started raining because it's the UK on the way home and it was an open trailer and as you can see there are currently no windows so um, everything inside got wet so uh, gradually just gonna have to take the stuff out and thaw it out a little bit but I mean yeah it, it is what it is at the moment so what we've kind of got is we've got this uh, we'll start at the sides we've got this like over molded blended in wide body kit um, looks really nicely done actually the skirts and stuff running up the side as well don't actually know so if someone in the comments knows kind of what kit this is or at least parts of it I think it's like a, a mixture I think that's a Titan rear bumper um, I think they were called Titan bumpers uh, again split through the middle on the um, on the journey back so they're gonna need to do some repair work on that but that is not a problem uh, sort of stuff for the roof um, then so we've got the wide body kit with these like, side skirts and stuff on it then uh, around to the back there's been a load of custom fab work on this back section because we've all the lights have been deleted um, well actually loads of stuff's been deleted so uh, skip over quickly so all of the uh, top side of the cars all been smoothed off where the old roof rails used to be um, so that's all been sort of skimmed over body work and then also down the side panels um, that's all been done as well so usually you'd get like the rub strips and stuff running down that's all been deleted all the holes filled and everything blended over all the kits been blended in as you can see no door handles because they've been removed as well and they're on poppers instead so at some point in this car's life a hell of a lot of money has been spent on doing various bits and then the same on the rear there's no uh, boot badge no um, point to lift it up so that's on poppers too but the lock's missing at the moment so we need to find one or make one rear lights got these like 
cut out sections and the lights are in here somewhere for those but yeah it's a custom fully custom rear end which is pretty mad in itself as well and then um, coming around the front again custom fenders with the uh, arches blended in then we've got this sort of and this uh, a bit tucked in close to the moment this uh, sort of front bumper as well and then this custom bonnet as well interesting enough this is actually all metal so this has all been fabricated in metal uh, welded all up and then all blended in so it's not a fiberglass bonnet the only bit that is fiberglass is um, where they've blended in this um, sort of rear hood uh, this um, front hood scoop uh, so this is if you look on the underside of this we'll flip it up quickly bloody heavy as well um, so the middle section is fiberglass but then all around this top sections all uh, been done with uh, with sheet metal which is mad so um, and then the glorious uh, rat's nest which is in here at the moment so this is going to take a fair amount of work uh, I did get a battery rigged up and it sort of uh, attempted to tick uh, to turn over tick over whatever um, uh, but it looks like there's been sort of a few new bits put on here and stuff um, but yeah it needs a good old a good old clean and as you can see quite a lot of it's rusted because there are two bloody great big hood scoops in the top which lets all the rain in so anyway so that is that is that and then just fly around here because it's a better view around here with loads of space we've got kind of the old seats and bits and bobs that go with it as well but yeah it's a pretty damn cool thing to be honest and uh, as i say someone's clearly spent some money no idea what these wheels are at all ah oh, dare dare motorsport i don't know somebody knows what they are great if not then uh, not a problem i don't know we might keep them we might change them but it's sitting you can see at the back pretty friggin low to be honest uh, loads of work needs doing though as you can see no brakes at the moment no handbrake thing doesn't run no windows no interior someone's dynamated the whole interior though which clearly shows that at some point this was going to be a uh, a proper build because uh, that stuff's not cheap um and the rear opens up oh nice and squeaky stuff connected but yeah it needs uh it's fairly tidy though to be honest I can't f I couldn't find loads of rust which tends to be a problem with um, with uh, well these cars French cars in general uh, rear axle does have some rust on it but it's a v I was told it's a VTR axle that they've swapped over um, so I don't know until we get it up in the air and we delve into it don't really know with that and then um, as the uh, piece to the resistance uh, which is why it's called the uh, Pagini we'll see if we can uh, get the little switch to work on this because the uh, door latches aren't connected at the moment so the only way to open it is to uh, there you go get your finger in on the back so as you can see with this door open it up that's as far as it comes and then the uh, the props uh, the uh, props and stuff that are in there at the moment aren't actually connected so it's a damn heavy door but it does go up which means this thing does have Lambo doors, which is mad. So, <laughs> oh man, buy some stupid stuff. So uh, yeah, that is the uh, that is the project car. I mean, yeah, definitely gonna be a uh, a thing when finished. We're gonna do some crazy stuff with this, with like colours and stuff. Uh, gonna go see Andy at Rapid Masters again, and we're gonna scheme up something mental. But. Uh, I'll do like a full full um, reveal video kind of after this where we take everything out and go around it in the daylight and stuff. This is just an initial one just to kind of go, this is what's now happening. If you want to follow along, then you should definitely join the YouTube channel because uh, there's going to be some wicked stuff going on with this. Um, and then also the main thing is you guys can come along for the ride. You guys can come along for this because uh, the idea is that this is going to be a community-led build. So the main thing is that I'm going to be posting up the progress as we go along with this and then um, there's gonna be certain things that are gonna be thrown out there for vote like colors style of wheels for example what color we do the interior do we do a boot build and what does that look like should we put playstations in it and TVs in the headrest you know all that good stuff that people some people like certain bits some people don't like all of it but I mean this is now just gonna be a platform for everybody to hopefully live out a little bit of their nostalgic fantasies from the max power era because I know me for one absolutely love that era and uh, and this is just gonna be sort of the uh, the uh, paying homage to that so stay tuned on the channel 
when I do put the votes up for various bits, definitely get involved. Um, really, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a sick thing to do with uh, with everyone's influence and stuff as well. Because I think when it sort of goes along, gets finished, we'll take it to shows. Everyone will be able to see it and stuff. I just reckon it's going to be awesome. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. Uh, cheers, guys, for watching on the channel and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see this uh, progress further and you want to get involved as well. Uh, anyone local want to give me a hand that would be great because there's a hell of a lot of work to do and this is probably the biggest project I've done personally so uh, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be an interesting one so yeah cheers guys for watching I'll catch you on the next one